what's up everybody it is friday the day before opening day over here in florida for archery season and i'm way too excited i didn't get much sleep last night I had to work today just got off on my way home um danny was already out doing a little bit of scouting touching up today since we already had cameras we have good bucks on camera already this summer but they kind of disappeared we think we found them again so we are hope hoping 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 fingers crossed that the very first day we're successful i might uh shoot a doe just to have some meat in the freezer and then worry about bucks afterwards um i'll make that decision when i'm out there just to kind of get the feel of everything and see what's going on but i hope you guys enjoy this video and remember to hit that like and subscribe button guys and we will see you out there i will be in the saddle the xop saddle um i've i played around in the backyard in the yard in a tree with it for a little bit it's pretty it's pretty comfortable for 130 bucks i mean it's a for never doing saddle i think it's a good price for trying it out so i'm going to try that out first thing i got my climber for backup in the back um but that climber i love that climber from from last year so i have a backup but where i'm going to go it's kind of like in the swampy area and there's not many trees to climb with the climber so hopefully it works out and i'm recording this now because uh we're getting out there super super early super dark it's going to be dark because we got a long ways to walk so i will next time you guys see me we'll be in the tree so please enjoy the opening day weekend i'm going to try to film as much as possible if i uh hopefully fingers crossed no camera issues like last year but I'll film whatever I can film. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'll try to do some talking and a little context throughout if I can or some voiceovers. Uh, depends on how loud my voice echoes down in that bottom. But we will see you out there. Man, I'm like, you don't know, I'm like excited. It's like a kid before Christmas Day. Super, super excited about this year. I think this year is going to be a great year. I even have big bucks on camera in my backup spot near my house where we're going tomorrow it's like an hour hour and a half drive just from my house every day just to get there so i drive three hours there and back home pretty much total and then this other one's only 15 minutes down the road from my house but the bucks here aren't very big they're like i call them beach bucks they're not they don't get very big in this spot so i'd rather drive an hour and a half north to get some bigger bucks and more of them so we'll see you guys out there thanks for watching again good morning everybody it's 12 30 i got like two hours of sleep i'm ready to go let's go see you in the tree guys morning forgot my release I had to run back to the truck to get the release me and Danny ran into this hunter this morning and he was insistent to come in here on us so he's 50 yards up the hill from me I'm down in this creek bottom there's a lot of beaten up trails down here we've seen some rubs a few weeks ago 
It is. Uh, it is 8 11 a.m. And I just haven't seen or heard anything. Had a couple of squirrels come by. But nothing. The sun uh, still hasn't made its full appearance in my area yet. I'm still in a good shade spot. But one just needs to slide by, especially a doe. If there's a doe slide by, I won't take her. And I got a feeling they're going to come from downwind of me because there's a good trail there. But, but so far, nothing at all. Stay tuned. What's up? I'm back at the truck, eating lunch, lunch break. It's about 10.30. Sun's up now. It's hot, super hot. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of activity this morning where I got. I did see a lot of hog sign though. So I'm gonna move out of there and go to a different spot this evening. Maybe just a little further north, upwind. And uh, hopefully I can put one down or maybe Danny could put one down. But we're gonna stay here, we're gonna eat some lunch and get back at it. See you in the tree. So me and Danny moved over to a, a different spot. It's this little strip of woods. Um, we got some, some pictures of some bucks and does in here the past few evenings. So we're here and wouldn't you know it, lo and behold, another hunter walks right under my stand while I'm set up. But he, we had a good conversation. He was a nice guy. Gave me some tips and uh, moved on down. I think it's about 100, 120 yards down the way. So we pretty much got this strip of woods covered. So hopefully someone's putting a deer down and I can hear it or something tonight. So wish me luck, guys. If not, on to day two. We got the whole weekend. These acorns are dropping right here. So I feel good. I got to tons of room to shoot all over the place but I'm probably going to keep it in the 20 yards so hopefully one walks right underneath me and I can definitely probably hear Danny's uh, crossbow go off like last time I think it's loud so let's, let's put one down it's 4.57 we got about an hour and 15 minutes until nightfall and then we can hunt 30 minutes after that. So hopefully a deer comes by. Day one, almost over. And there were books. Um, I'll try to film. It's getting a little too spotty for my, uh, my good camera. So I'll probably use the GoPro and some light if I shoot one. Show you guys the recovery. But, uh, stay tuned, guys. And on to tomorrow if uh, I don't get one. what's up everybody good morning it is day number two and uh hopefully we can get on yesterday was a bust danny did see one little buck uh he was an illegal shooter though just a little four point where we're hunting you have to have at least four on one side so we're looking for florida giants pretty much but hopefully we can get one it's still legal to take some does, so you might see one of those down today. And uh, yesterday was a big learning curve. We learned a lot, and hopefully we can get on them today. I'm at least hoping Danny puts down this one big buck that we've been getting on camera. And um, we should show up on his his spot this morning. I got a few bucks on my spot, but they're uh, not consistent, so I might get lucky. If not, there's one doe that is consistent, and she's a big doe, a huge doe. So she'll definitely fill the freezer. And uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys up in the tree stand. So we had to sit down for the morning sit. 
It is now 8.45 a.m. Um, Danny just uh, seen a nice six point go by. Hopefully I get something coming through in the next hour. If not, we'll get down and get lunch, but I'm gonna stay in this tree probably all day because they moved here all day yesterday. But the weather's different. We got cloudy and it's still a little, a little cold, a little colder than yesterday. I think the high is 72 today. Yesterday it was 85. So I think when the sun comes up, they might just get up and start moving. These Florida deer like the heat, they like the sun. So hopefully soon, fingers crossed, we can put an arrow in something. I was falling asleep in the tree stand, so got down, we're taking a break. Uh, Danny's driving, we're taking a Whataburger break. We're gonna get ourselves some Whataburger. Maybe that'll bring us good luck. And then we'll put one down tonight, we'll see. We are back. To go, I didn't bring my big camera out because it's cloudy, and uh, I don't know. I just feel like just using the GoPro, just getting up here quick, kind of in a time timely manner. So, I might I want to be shooting this direction and angle all the way around to here. So hopefully they come, I get a clean shot. If not. We got one more day for this three day weekend that I took for this opening weekend. And uh, hopefully we can get something tomorrow. Fingers crossed, but uh, hopefully we can get something tonight. We've been getting deer in the spot like every day, except for today, <laughs> of course. But uh, I waited for the wind to be perfect. And the day that the wind's perfect, the deer don't want to show up.
three of archery season here in Florida, opening weekend. And uh, yeah, I got a doe yesterday. It's my first bow kill ever. And then uh, hopefully we can get a buck today. Before daylight already had, I heard a little fawn and heard a doe blowing. I don't think it was uh, at me. Is there in some thick stuff down there and and uh, up one for me? So I'm pretty sure they not blowing at me. But it's about that time to shoot a deer. So I'm gonna get off here. Stay tuned, guys, and hit that like and subscribe. <laughs> Wow, it is 8.47, not a creature stirring, not even a deer or a squirrel. I'm about to head down here in about 30 minutes and move my stand location because the wind's going to change significantly the other direction this evening and uh, hopefully get something going. Uh, I really, really want to shoot a buck now. It'll be my first buck with a bow. It's exciting to get the first doe down with a bow. Hope you guys enjoy that video. And, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting there swinging in my saddle. And, <clears throat> quick review on this XOP Renegade saddle. Um, there's a few, like, concern, not concerns, but I guess, uh, I would want to try some other saddles to see how they are. This one kind of rides and pinches a lot, and I'm constantly adjusting. Um, but you can you can get comfortable like I've been taking some naps here and there and uh, you can find a sweet spot and get comfortable but I'm constantly just loosening my leg bands to let off some pressure and tightening them to I'm just constantly adjusting during the day so I can set long sets because I set for four to six hours at a time I don't just set for a couple hours and see like right there it feels good just a little bit of relief but it's my first time ever using a saddle too and I'm working out kinks but I love how you can shoot pretty much any angle I need to practice shooting pretty much any angle because I think I'm shooting a little high I gotta remember to keep it low on the deer next time I see one but yeah I am ready I'm ready to shoot a buck I don't know about you guys but I'm ready to do it what's up everybody we're in a different location and uh, of course you can't have a good hunting day without complications like I always do I did shoot my bow signed at 40 30 20 and it's shooting good so it was my error on, on the deer yesterday but it's good I'll have more faith in my my bow so that's done and then uh, I lose one of my tethers for my saddle in the woods somewhere I had a rope man attached to it and everything so that sucks but I got it done with just one which you're not I mean it's not safe but with a smaller a smaller tree and not a huge tree it's uh, more doable because I can hug the tree a little easier. But uh, it's, everything's a lot more complicated though with uh, my elbow situation. 
but we're here. I'm in a good spot. I like I tucked into this oak tree off this pine. Right on the edge of this thick stuff right over here. The wind's blowing that way. So I'm hoping they come out of this thick stuff and walk around me. There's a big beaten down trail right here. A lot of acorns and stuff right here. And some green briar from the munch on. So I don't know, I like a lot of green briar. So I'm hoping they just mosey on through. And I got a clean shot up to probably 60 yards right in this one spot. Like perfect right here. Um, unfortunately, uh, I left my, I had to, it's a long walk. It's like 90 degrees today. So I left my good camera stand back at the truck to lighten the load. So that being said, I'm only filming my GoPro again. Sorry guys, I have a little bit of footage on the good camera, but like I just, I don't know, every time I bring that nothing, nothing shows up. Every time I put my good camera away is when all the deer show up. So hopefully we get a buck tonight because I didn't put out the good camera. But I'll get as much as possible on this GoPro for you guys. Like the footage yesterday was, it was, it was great with the GoPro. I'm going to try to zoom in. I'm filming in 4K so I can zoom in and, and fix all that for you guys a little better. But I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Uh, public land hunting, archery season in Florida, opening weekend, day number three. Let's get her done. It is. I don't even know what time it is. I'm in the stand. I'm in the stand at 2.26. And uh, it don't really get dark till like 6 o'clock. So I'll be in here for a while. And get up and get in here early. Four hours in the saddle is probably like my limit now. I'm like wore out from this weekend. Uh, I live a pretty good ways away. So... I have to, I get home about 8.30, go straight to bed, wake up at midnight, and come back out here and hunt again. And so, not much sleep lately, but that's the fun in hunting. Uh, I enjoy it. It's just, you always remember not getting sleep and killing deer. So, hopefully we have a good evening. I'm, I'm tucked away in the shade, so it feels a lot better. It's like 10 degrees better in the shade and uh, see if we can get one slipping by